the Oregon Trail. Yeah, this is the Oregon Trail. Yeah. Um, did you know that a fully covered wagon could weigh up to 2,000 pounds, 907 kilograms? Until the 1850s and, and the 1860s, only Native Americans lived in what became the Midwestern United States. Did you know that the people that made it to the winter past the mountains had to eat and cook their friends that had died from the cold so they could stay alive? The Oregon Trail was the most important pioneer route to the American West in the 1800s. Ezra Meeker first, in, first journeyed to the Oregon in 1852. Later in life, he worried that Americans had forgotten the Oregon Trail. So, so in 1906, at the age of 76, he decided to take his journey again in an ox-drawn covered wagon, this, this time going east. Uh, so I guess I'll read more the pictures. The route of the Oregon Trail shown on the map of the western United States from Independence, Missouri on the Easter and to Oregon City. And that's for that map. Saddles, bridles, hobbles, and ropes are needed if the party had a horse or a riding mule, and many men did. Extra harnesses and spare wagon parts were often carried. Most carried steel shoes for oxen, mules, or horses. Tar was carried to help to help repair the injured ox's hoof. You want to read food too? Sure. Because I can't read from back here. The recommended amount of food to take per person was 150 pounds. 150 pounds of flour, 20 pounds of cornmeal. 50 pounds of bacon, 40 pounds of sugar, 10 pounds, 10 pounds, uh, 10 pounds of coffee, 15 pounds of dried fruit, 5 pounds of, of salt, half a pound of salt earth, baking soda, 2 pounds of tea, 5 pounds of rice, and 15 pounds of beans. And I guess up to 3,000 mountain men were trappers and explorers employed by various British and United States fur companies or working as free trappers who roamed the North American Rocky Mountains from about 1810 to the early 1840s. They, yeah, they usually traveled in small groups for mutual support and protection. Trap Trapping took place in the fall when the fur became prime. Mountain men primarily trapped beaver and sold skins and sold dust. The wagon had no springs and the ride along the trail was very rough. Despite modern deception dis depictions, almost nobody actually rode in the wagon. It was it was too dusty, too rough, and too hard on the livestock. And the Oregon Trail is a 2,000-mile heroic east-west large wheeled wagon. I'm not going to read all that, though. <laughs> <laughs> this will be here for a uh, These are some of the sites from the Oregon Trail. Independence Rock, Chimney Rock, Nebraska, Prairie Scene. Um, and we got her information from Google. Um, Wikipedia. We got it from Wikipedia. Yeah. Um, Oregon Trail pioneer Ezra Meeker. All right. And done by Maddie. Maddie, sit in.